That was the beautiful voice of Rondi Charleston, who is joining me on the telephone right now. Rondi, are you there? Hello, Rondi? Good. Hi, I'm right here. Nice to hear you. Uh, it's nice to speak with you. Uh, that yeah. song is absolutely beautiful, by the way. I mean, this other small band, The Beatles, I think, wrote it, but you, <laughs> yeah, do, such right. a, you do so much better than them. Oh, yeah. It's, it's hard to take a song that's such a great song and try to make it your own, but no, that's kind of good, the fun of jazz. It truly is one of my favorite Beatles songs, but the way you deliver it is, is just really amazing. I, I think that's a great tune. And that's from an album, uh, that's from two albums ago, by the way. Exactly, yeah. We've got a lot of new stuff out there now as well. And what was the name of your new album that's already come out? The new album is called Signs of Life, and um, it's a lot, of, a lot of original material that I've written based on my life experiences and a couple of covers of people below the Thelonious Monk tune, Reflections, and the Wayne Shorter tune, Footprints, and just, you know, really select choice uh, jazz standards along with some of my new originals. And that is available, I'm sure, on iTunes as well uh, on your website, Rondi Charleston, R O N D I C H R L E S T O N dot com. Yeah, Charleston, C H A R, just like the dance. Got it. Uh, and Got you it. are going to be uh, in San Francisco at Yoshi's at 7 o'clock on Sunday, the 11th. And I have the privilege of giving away two pairs of tickets <laughs> to uh, the next two callers at 415-346-5376. So please uh, give me a call here and stay on the line, folks. You always hang up before I can get to you. And then, yes, those two, just hang on the line. Um, but you have an amazing amazingly interesting career. I mean, you're a jazz singer now, and you've released four albums, is that right? Yeah, this is my fifth, actually. Okay. I've had many, many chapters yes. um, in my life. I've had, so to speak, I've had, um, I, I started off at Juilliard. I was, I was born and raised in Chicago, in Hyde Park, uh, which definitely, uh, you know, was such an interesting and integrated and unusual com- a place to grow up. Uh, it formed who I am as an artist. Um, today, I'm sure, and um, went to Juilliard when I was only 17 in, in the, drama de- the drama department and then the music department as well, and sang classical music for a few years, and that was kind of confining. I felt, you know, the need to be more artistically creative um, than, than, than the classical music world was allowing me to be, so I, um, I, went to become a, I wanted to become a cultural reporter, and I went to NYU and and got hired by ABC News and ended up working, working for Diane Sawyer. Yes, I wanted on to. Times my life. For I wanted to. Years. You actually are one of the few jazz singers who also has an Emmy Award. Yeah, I won an Emmy Award and a Peabody Award with Diane for yeah. stories we did on women's some women's health stories that we did together. Um, so you know, the, I, I get asked about this all the time because you know journalism and jazz you would think have nothing to do with each other, but they really do. And the, the thing that sort of unites these unites them is that they're both just searching for the truth in in, in of things, whether it's a, in a, an undercover story that we're investigating and want to get to the truth of the matter. Um, in journalism or in in jazz, you want to get to some emotional truth inside of a song. Uh, it's all about really peeling, for me at least, it's about peeling back the layers to find out, you know, what what's really, what is this really about? You know, cut away the, the, the BS and what is this really about? And that's what drives me. It's what drives it's my passion in life is to uncover the truth. And I think people, you know, can understand that because we all want it. We all want that, don't we? Nobody wants to be lied to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wants to be that's the name of your next your next hit. That's the name of my. Thank you, Derek. You just gave me the great idea for my new album. So there's a story that when you were very young. By the way, I think both your parents were jazz musicians as well. Correct? Yeah, my mom is a professional singer, and my dad was a. He's an English teacher, but loved jazz and had it on on the radio 24 seven, and brought me to meet. Um, when I was only six years old, he brought me and my brother to meet Duke Ellington live in person, and because uh, my mother was singing back up for him. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and I remember so distinctly shaking his hand and looking up into his eyes, and very kind, kind eyes, and his mellifluous voice, and, and um, I'll never forget it. It was a magical moment. That's fantastic. So that was one of your key moments that propelled you in your jazz career. Well, it certainly it certainly made me interested in, in that music, and then listening to his music live and watching him perform live, 
um, you know, that lit a fire under me, I'll tell you that much, that's for sure. That's fantastic. Rondi Charleston here on the phone. Uh, and where, where are you calling from right now? I'm actually in New York City. That's um, it's where I live, and I'm based. My band is all out here, and uh, but we can't wait to come out west to to perform for you guys. Yeah, uh, Yoshi's is is a perfect venue for you. It's it's all about jazz and and great singers. So I think you'll really enjoy it. Have you played there before? I haven't. Oh I'm wow! So excited. Yeah, I mean this so is the excited. Harlem. This is the Harlem of the West Coast. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Some people say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There is one really interesting thing too I wanted to bring up, which is. Um, a portion of your proceeds that you get from your shows goes to the Hole in the Wall Gang. Is that right? That's Paul Newman's yeah. Um, yeah. organization. Yeah, always. You know, I mean, Paul founded the Hole in the Wall Gang camp because he felt like, you know, it's just not fair in life that some people, you know, just get such a such a challenge, such huge challenges. It's it's a camp for children who are seriously ill, and. Um, he wanted to give back, and he founded this camp 25 years ago, and of course it's still running now, and, and we try to help keep it going. Well, that's really right. fantastic. I think that's mm-hmm. uh, you should be applauded for that. Everybody, I am speaking to mm-hmm. Rondi Charleston here on KPOO, and if you would like tickets to her show, I'm going to pick up a couple callers here. Keep calling in, 415-346-5376. Um, and talk about a little bit about your band, if you can, too. Who, who is going to be performing with you? You know, we, I am so uh, thrilled to have a really, really great band. We have on guitar, we have the great Dave Stryker, uh, who's, you know, won lots of downbeat awards and really considered one of the best guitarists on the planet. We have uh, the great Ed Howard on bass, who, you know, he's played with Winton Marsalis. He played with Shirley Horn for many years and Roy Haynes and... Um, Great, great player. And um, we have Tim Horner, who plays with Maria Schneider, for those of you who are Maria Schneider fans. And, um, and um, yeah, who am I leaving out? I can't remember. But anyway, we, we've, um, we've uh, played together now for many years, and we've gotten really tight, and we have a great time playing together. And I think that the energy that, the energy that goes on stage is pretty contagious. People seem to really respond and love it. So I hope that we get lots of people to come out. I think you will, everybody. Uh, you can get your own tickets at Yoshi's.com. I think you can get, also get them from your website, RondyCharleston.com. Uh, and everybody stay on the line that's calling in. I will get you a pair of tickets. And uh, I wanted to go out with this beautiful song that I heard last night, DNA, which was originally written by Watson and Crick. Um, no, well, that was a science I joke. Yeah, right. Watson, James Watson yeah. discovered DNA. Not me, James Watson. I've been trying to get a hold of him, actually. I wanted him to hear the song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> great scientist. No, you know, I'm fascinated by by our our collective DNA, and I'm, I'm fascinated by how much of who we are is genetic and how much is, you know, caused by our environment. And um, so it's sort of like this subject that I've been grappling with for a long time and, and trying to understand, you know, what is hardwired inside of all of us, what character traits are hardwired inside of us, and then, you know, what we can do with that knowledge. It's, it's fascinating, and I, it turns into this very emotional song about dealing with dealing with our own everybody's uh you know individual dna fantastic well the album is called signs of life it's available on itunes and from the website rondy charleston thank you so much for calling it everybody stay on the line i'll get right with you and uh, have a fantastic show this sunday thank you so much Derek. you're welcome thanks for calling in thank you too all right take care Sink my feet into the soil, soak my skin in ancient oil, bring my feelings to a boil, got to clarify. Hear my voice, the sound is pure, I'm just a lonely questioner.